protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident-only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more. Right, Dom. So I've just had a call from the next door neighbours. The lights on in the gym. It's twelve o'clock. Come on. He goes in. It's only Tayan Boom doing his midnight session. The time is it, look. Five past twelve. Time. Time. Walk around. Didn't expect that. 12 a.m. He's alive. I've got the key. I let myself in. Do you want to tell us a secret about your weight loss? Weight loss? I just need to add more, you know, to my content, you know, instead of just drunk and bullshit. So, I'm back on the boxing combat. So, if we, do it, if we uh, I'll, I'll whip the pads out, you'll be able to remember all the shots, yeah? Yeah, but you've evolved it. Yeah. You've added, added your own touch. Well, we'll give you the basics. We'll go back to old school, yeah? We'll, we'll do the old school stuff, yeah? All right, let's do it. So does this mean time Booth is officially back? Do you know what it is? You know, if I couldn't do it in my 20s, I'm not going to be able to do it now. You know, five, five years on, 10 years on. A, so load of alcohol, a load of alcohol later. Jab. See how we get on. Jab. 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 So we got the sharpness. Yeah. But I was gonna get you back, you know, for a few rounds and then I fucked up so I can't get too excited, you know. I was doing alright. Six rounds. Dom, if you didn't fuck about and if you wasn't into boozy and all that kind of stuff and the ladies, how far could well, you, you know really have gone? Say, you know they said, aren't you, that when you're younger, you've got all the attributes and all the energy and everything else, but you haven't got the brains. Then you get a bit older, you've got the brains, but you haven't got the attributes anymore. And, and that's where Tayan is. You know, I don't think I ever realised how good he was. I think coming from the background, they did all the negativity. He probably thought to himself, and you've heard Johnny, say, Johnny Nelson say this, when you're around a lot of negative people, you don't believe in yourself. And then you get a bit older and you get a bit more mature and you realise the people around you are giving you all the advice have never moved on in the life and you were taking their advice and they're still in the same places. I think Tyan's realised now that people who he's surrounded by kind of held him back in his own beliefs and thinking anyway. You know what it is? You know what it's YouTube stuff like? You know, you've watched my streams, you've seen people give me money and stuff like that. It's like an unorthodox way, you know, of like making money. But when you kind of like go against the grain, you know, from people who you grew up around. Sometimes they can't really see it. You obviously see the vision, it's not hating as well. Just a quick one before you jump on again, you've obviously made a niche for yourself. Would you agree that you may have said some things that you probably regret? Would it be fair to say that? Is that the man down coming? Oh, you want me no, to... No, I don't want you to talk about it. Oh, you want I, I, to go it's, it's, no, 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 I don't want me, you to cover. Like, obviously, I can watch it down a bit, but yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, like, there's some stuff you must have said, you must sit, think back and think, fuck's sake. You know, coming from this gym, like, you see all these races, blacks, whites, Asians, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of been like a free-for-all over the years, you know what I mean? Mm. It's all like breaking barriers, but it's nothing personal. One shot. Two shot. Two shot. Two shot. Two shot. All the gear, no idea. That's it. We've seen all them guys looking good on the pads. So See this, how I perform in a week and a half, you know, so, my comeback so, fight. So this, this comeback fight, just tell me, um, what's your overall ambition with it? My ambition, really? Like I say, if I couldn't do it in my 20s, to do it nice. So it's not like it's a real comeback. It's more like just YouTube content, you know what I mean? Trying to get in shape. If, if you got, got the alcohol. 
If you got the opportunity to go on Misfits, would you would you go on it? I go on there, but it's a bit cringe. Mm. You know when I see KSI and Tommy Fury like banging on that fake bit of glass, it's a bit cringe. Maybe you need. You remember Mike Tyson ago? when he boxed Lennox Lewis? Yeah. It was like a roar of security. Yeah. You know, like that line down there. It's on the middle mm. of the ring. Yeah, but that was real. But this YouTube boxing is a bit too. But I'd get on it. Mm. Idris Vega, still a potential? It's just talk with that guy. Mm. He's from that world, you know, of talking. You know, on Love Island. But if you make a statement on November the 11th, anything's possible. Yeah. How much weight have you lost, by the way? Because you look like you've trimmed out quite a bit. Do you know what he's like, that Idris Elba guy? Oh. He's like a woman, you know, flirts around. Right. But they don't actually want to fuck you. They just do it for attention, that's what he's like. You know, he's doing it with Ty Mitchell as well. Have you, noticed? have you had experience like that with, with women? Is that why you're saying that? What, would you just flirt around? I've yeah. never made the first move. All right. You know, all the women I bang, they fucking made the move. I used to live on the whole boxing thing, or live off it. You know, pretend I was better than what I was. And it worked. Does it still work? It paid off. Not as much now, because I'm older, and heavier, a bit uglier. <laughs> so, it don't really work anymore. But in my day, I used to pretend I was better than what I was. You know, for sexual reasons. Is that a common thing with boxers, Dom? Listen, you'd be surprised that the, the low-level fighters that we've had in this gym... Uh, you seen you... time boots a low-level fighter? Yeah. No, no. Has I'm he not, just called no, you a low-level no, fighter? I'm saying, no, I'm saying the number of lower-level fighters, not Tayan, because Tayan operated at quite high level, but I'm saying really low-level fighters. We had, before social media came out, we had two guys in the gym. And uh, this one guy, a uh, funny guy, about that big, and... Uh, He'd done body sparring. I had to take him out for his first professional fight. He got disqualified and he never threw a punch. And when he came back to the corner, he actually said to me, Dominic, you didn't tell me it was to the face because he'd never done body sparring, you see. But obviously he had, he had done some open sparring, but he thought the fight was going to be, uh, you know, to the body. He got slung out. But he went to the markets in Sheffield and uh, he'd been in the paper with my dad and he'd used that clipping of this photograph and blagged this butcher to, to give him a pound of steak a day for this world title fight that he was having. And this guy was never, ever going to be in a world title fight. So you get that kind of con going on where they go and tell everybody they've got prospects and can you sponsor me this, can you sponsor me that. And some people have made a, a good living off it in the past. The thing is, when it comes to the crunch and they can't fight, they get exposed, don't they? Do you know so. what it is, though? Like you say, like some people do fall for it. So my streams, they're, a bit, they're, they're stupid. But, you know, people kind of support, you know, and really get behind it. But, so but it's entertainment, so. you, you, you'd be surprised what entertains people, people love. I'm saying now is I'm getting more recognised for being on his channel than actually training fighters. People say, oh, I've seen your video, oh what, with some bump pads? No, no, Boxing King Media. So I get, I get more, actually probably get more recognition now off the two interviews on his channel than it had been on Sky Sports. Mm. But you, would you say that you like the attention or not? I don't, I don't care. You're not bothered, no, but, but bothered. you've seen like, like, this gym's had some top fighters. Yeah. And you see the groupies, yeah. who are always seems to be the same people who just follow these top boxers. Yeah, and, and they're trying to live off their name. Yeah, yeah. But I kind of did that, you know, myself, like trying to. But listen, there's, 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 there's a benefit to most people, but the trouble with hangers on is, is that it actually disrupts the fighter. So it actually disrupts my job. And my dad would never let, not have him in. Now, you'll see on there, there's an old wiring intercom where you used to have it, you couldn't come in, you'd have to say your name, and then there were two, a two-door stop to get in, so you stopped when Naz were training, you used to get people walking in, which you didn't mind at first, but then they sort of saw, my dad just said, making themselves busy. So he put an intercom in there, and he'd have a, he'd have a button up near the ring, and he'd talk to them and ask them who it were, and he'd only buzz them in if he knew them. Mm. You understand? So he stopped people coming in that way, because what mm. they do is they come in, they get the foot in the door, they start chatting the fighters up, they start promising them this, promising them that, and before you know it, they cause a load of, a load of hassle. What was David Beckham like when he came in? David Beckham just came in and he stood against that radiator, and it's funny because my dad came in and he walked out, and I was across the road, and uh, he came into the house, and we know mobile phones in them days, I don't think, and he phoned up Cole, the gym manager, who was the director of Rotherham United, he went, Carl, there's, there's a fella in the gym, some good footballer, you know, he's the next big thing, come down to the gym, come down to the gym. Cole said, I walked in, it was only David Beckham, come to watch Naz training. Mm. So, um, I think he gave, I think he got, you get them golden boots, don't you? I think he gave one of Naz's golden boots. I went up to Naz's house one time and it just chucked on a pile of his boxing stuff because that's David Beckham's golden boot. Mm. So yeah, them all down here, uh, Beckham, Stephen Hendry, you know what I mean? Michael Stuka. Jackson. 
well, Michael Jackson in America, yeah, but not in not in the gym. But yeah, they all came to see us over the years. Um, Tony, you really touched on it earlier. Why do you think people tune in to watch Dominic Ingle interviews? And uh, one of the comments I see quite irregular is that he's like overly brutally honest and he don't give a shit. It's as easy as it is. Has he always been like that, or is it you know is it just him on camera? You've, right, you've got right. first-hand experience. I mean, over the years, he'll come in and just say, "You paid your subs." Yeah, you pay or get out, you know what I mean, pay or get out, you know, just straight to the point. But I like that, but some people can't handle that. Like you just you told know, that kid about math like dad. Tosses, where they want, like, you know, I'm like coddling like little babies, they don't like the direct talk. So I try and quickly walk into the changing rooms, you know, because I didn't want to talk. And what did he used to do? He used to see me trying to like run into and the call you over. He'd call me over. And, and make you stand in front of the camera. And I'd be studying like yeah. shivering like a little bitch, you know, sweating. Yeah. And he'd say, talk about yourself. But obviously he gets you used to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So me going on to do this YouTube thing, I made a load of cash. Not as much as this guy, not as much as you, but <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's increasing. We'll see where it goes. In fact, it. it's declining, but that's why I'm here, you know, to do the boxing. Is it? Yeah, just to step up a bit. Because eventually declining. you get like, you kind of you plateau. Yeah. And you have to step up. You have up. to think of another way. Yeah, that's it. Trying to There's loads of ways though. Mm -hmm. I've told you what you need to do. It's because somebody sent them to me the other day. Some fan sent me a load of links for Survivor, Jungle, Strictly, yeah. uh, Love Island. I said, I'm not going on Love Island. What we'll do that for? Yeah. But I said, there's loads of links. Did Tiny and Big Brother be quiet? I was to say to that's what I'm saying, yeah. but that's what he had to do was the next stage because it would be quite entertaining. Are you fit to fight? Yeah, well, I'm in mean, something like four rounds, yeah? Yeah. Are you Tucking in a few rounds here and there. Four rounds. <laughs> My worst nightmare, I'm no mechanic. If you have broken down, do these three things to get you back on the road. Call your insurance company. You must report the breakdown straight away so they can help. The document you got from them will have the details you need to give them when you call them. Your phone number, your policy number, your vehicle registration, and the precise location of your vehicle. They then arrange for someone to come out to you, see if they can repair your vehicle or recover it. It's that easy.